The first one is that uh, electricity demand is growing for a couple of other reasons in the U.S. One is um, manufacturing. So, and my slide's not advancing. I don't, I don't, I'm not one to dwell on slides, but uh, if we could go to the next slide. So, um, this is the amount of manufacturing spending that is, has unfolded in the U.S over the last uh, 25 years. And you've seen a real surge in manufacturing, uh, partly because of the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, partly because of the CHIPS Act. Uh, by the way, uh, this is not intended to be a sort of politically focused conversation, but we actually think the CHIPS Act and many components of the IRA are going to survive the current political environment. Uh, happy to follow up with any of you if you want to chat about that. But this is another factor that's helping to drive up electricity demand. Uh, electric vehicles would be another component. So you've got three pillars of strong electricity demand growth. You've got AI data centers, resurgence of manufacturing in the U.S., and vehicle electrification. And then you sort of have to say, okay, well, if power demand is going to grow, what kind of electrons are going to meet that power demand? Uh, the general view from us, at least, is that uh, we're going to see some combination of solar, battery storage, and natural gas are going to be the big uh, winners of this uh, increase in power demand uh, that could unfold over the next five years. A very interesting chart up on the screen right now. 